Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. From the Miami area, my name is Orlando Valido, Holy Valido, or people like that they call me on YouTube. Tonight, I'm going to bring you another contribution artist, and she's very young, and now well known, but uh, nevertheless, here's the first name, Lorraine Elena. And here's the first picture of her. And here's the second picture of this beautiful lady who is a contribution artist. And we're going to read uh, her autobiography. Just a second, give me a second before I let me pull this up. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Lauren Alaina. Uh, the real name is Lauren Alaina Christine Suddet. Suddet was spelled S U D D E T H. Alaina. It's A L A I N A. Okay, again, Elena. A L A I N A. Okay, she was born on November 8, 1994. She's an American singer, songwriter from Russellville, Georgia. She was a runner up on the tenth season of American Idol and she had a debut studio album with the title Wildflower. It was released on October 11, 2011. Her second album, World Last Travel, was released on January 27, 2017. Alena Lady achieved her first number one on the country airplay charts with the album title track. Her second number one come later that year, but she seems lately, it means at the same time, topped the five billboard charts with her friend and former classmate, Kane Brown, on the duo. What if she is about a 28th season of Dancing with the Stars and place a fortune in the first place with her partner, Leb Savarko, S-A-V-C-H-E-N-K-O. Okay, Elena third to the album, Seeing Pretty, on the top of the world, who was released on September 3rd, 2021, Elena was introduced to the Grand Opry on February 12th, 2022. Okay, let's go here with the early life. Elena was born on November 8th, 1994, to Christy and J.J. Suddet was uh, Russellville, Georgia. Her father worked as process technician in Santa Lua, Tennessee, Santa Lua. Elena started to sing at age three. Wow, age three. Her first uh, public performer followed with the kid choir at the annual vacation spot that offer a karaoke she sang a church restaurant, family holiday gathering and airing anywhere within the 30 miles radio where she lived. And at the age of eight, Elena entered the talent show competition of the Southern Stars Pageant 
the Bidens when they were high to one and the next year she was selected to perform the Kid Darling stage at Tanagua River Band Festival. She performed on the stage annually until she was 12 years old. When she won the competition that allowed her to perform on festival to be days, she traveled to Orlando, Florida, where he had played when she was 10 uh, to compete in American model and talent competition. And she won the event also, beating out 1,500 kids. Elena time with the Georgia Country Couple Music Association Children Group. At the age of 12, Elena made her first of many trips to Nashville, Tennessee, and she performed a local boy on Broadway, Georgia, to see. In 2009, Elena was the first winner of the winning story. The youngest talent contest in the uh, league won picture. I'm sorry, but I cannot say this. Lake W I N N E P E S A U K A H, a summer park. In addition to performing, Elena wrote several songs, including Leaving and Set Me Free. Set Me Free. Elena was inspired to sing by her cousin Holly with Hello. Uh, the last name would be W I T H E R O W, who was diagnosed with brain tumor. Brigade, power to Idol Helena, work at CC Pizza, CC Pizza. C I C I pizza. I love the pizza, by, by the way. She attended Lakeview Holy Group, Tory Group, uh, that was spelled O G O E T H O R P E for the Holy Group High School at that place. In Georgia, where she was, uh, she lived at that for her high school, uh, I think, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. It's good down here. Before audition for the idol, and she was rejected by American talent, by American guy talent. You believe that I rejected it? I guess some producers don't get it. Sometimes they do. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. So, so, sometimes they crazy. Sometimes they get it. Sometimes, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't. Uh, that's why all those shows, they pick, sometimes they pick the right person and the right thing, and sometimes they don't. And they, sometimes the singers are really good, and they dump it for no reason at all. And I hate what that happened. I guess American Idol, here we go with that overview. Alina auditioned for the 10th season of American Idol in Nashville, Tennessee. From, all, from early on, Elena was a judge of favor after her audition. I do judge Stephen Tyler. Stated it, we found one in May 14, 2011. I was a plug game, a plug game, Lorraine Elena Day 
in her hometown of Brookfield, Virginia. Good for her. During the season finale, Elena Sands preferred her cheat with her idol Kami on the Wood. On May 25th, 2011, Elena was declared the runner-up performer of a search. You will go with that. Audition. Audition choice. Do I don't want to miss the thing with Steven Tyler. Hollywood Round Part 1. For solo unclaimed melody. Hollywood Round Part 2. Some kind of wonderful. Some kind of wonderful. And there was a group. Uh, and then Hollywood number three. Take a solo. I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to miss a thing. Uh -huh. And Las Vegas Round. Some better to be the group performer. Hello, goodbye. A Hollywood Round final first solo on claim melody. Tap 24, 12 women, personal choice award, turn on the radio. The band. Tap 13, your personal idol, any man or man. Tap 20, you were born. Yeah, you were born. Uh, I'm only one. Type 11, Montown. You keep me hanging on. That's a very good title. I love that song too. And then Type 11, Edwin John, Candle in the Wind, which is uh, I love Candle in the Wind, sound by Edwin John with a beautiful piano piece. I love it, I really do. Tab nine, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You make me feel like a natural woman. On tab eight, shown for the movie, The Climb, with Anna Montana, the movie. Tab seven, yeah, tab seven, shown for the 20, First century, born to fly. Who wanted uh, born to fly? Me. And I guess all human beings, all human beings on this earth, wish you born to fly. Well, yeah, I wish you could fly. Uh, type 6, Carl King, do up with Ruth, call him a McQueary, McQueary, M-C-C-R-E-E-R-Y. Okay, tab five, song for new and then, uh, flat on the floor, on claim mentally, inspirational song. Anyway, labor is totally some book. Well, one, give me the win, choice, tap three, I hope you dance. Favorite idol performer, fly on the floor. Finality, carry on the wood, choice, maybe what mess up, maybe what mess up, yeah, maybe, and then, Coronation song, like my mother does. And this is a beautiful piece too. I love it. Career, music career, and here we go with that. Following the idol, Alina was signed to Interscope Record, Mercury, Nashville, and 19 recording. Alina released a single. Like my mother does, the song entered the Billboard High Country Song Charge at number 49. 
and then I had the 100 charge with number 20. I sold 121,000 copies on the first week that my mother died to speak at number 36 on the high country song charge following the conclusion of the season 10. Elena appeared on the perform on the Silver Stack Show, such as the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Larry with Regis and Kelly, and the Today Show on June 8, 2011. Elena and McCarvey presented the CMT Music Award. In addition, Elena made her grand opening debuted on June 10. She performed with Martina Mabai. I love Martina Mabai too. At LP Field during the CMA Music Festival. And the following summer, Elena tour with American Idol Live Tour 2011 which began in the West Valley of Utah on the 6th, on July 6th, 2011, and ended in Manila, Philippines on September 21, 2011. Very good. 2011, 2012, Wildflower on October 11, 2011, Alina released her debut album, Wildflower, which debuted at number five on the U.S. Billboard 200 and the number two on the Billboard Top Country Album Charge and sold 69,000 copies on the first week alone. And the album was best-selling and digital album by debut country female and the lead single was Georgia Pieces. Georgia Pieces. Which is number 28 on the Billboard had country size. To promote her album, Alina made numerous television and radio appearances. And she performed a single Georgia Pieces on the Good Morning America. Live with Reggie and Kelly and uh, Helen the Unique Genery show uh -huh. on October 22nd, 2011. Alina performed on Opry Ghost Pink. Opry Ghost Pink benefit concert at the Grand Opry for Women for the Cure. On November 10, 2011, Elena performed my Growing Up Christmas list. Yeah, Growing Up Like Us will have a Christmas list too, just like little kids. Little kids have their Christmas list, and we do have also a Christmas list. And I go for Growing Up too. It doesn't matter what age you are. Yeah. On CMA, going to Christmas, and that was. In addition, Alina performed on Barack Obama and Michelle Obama in the PBS special performer at the White House on November 21 of the year, I think, 2011, yeah. Uh, she sang the national anthem at the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day game between uh, Detroit and Lyon Green Bay Packers. And the New Year's Eve, at the New Year's Eve, Alina performed a single Georgia Peaches on American Continue Year Life. Yeah, life. Uh, 
But after that, give me one second, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. I was talking to my father here. And he needs something, so I give it to him. Anyway, uh, Alina was the opening for Jason Adin, my kind of party, to from 20 January 2012 to May 19, 2012. In addition to my kind of party to it, Alina opened Sugarland at the hand of the fan to for the number selected date beginning April fifth, twenty twelve and concluding on September one, twenty twelve. On March eight, twenty twelve, Alina performed in Georgia on the 11th season of American Idol. On March 26, 2012, Elena performed her single Georgia Fishy on Today Show. On June 16, 2012, Elena headlined at the final show of a really band music festival in her own hometown. Chattanooga, Tennessee. On July 12, 18 inches, become Elena third single of the album Wildflower. The single was sent to the country radio on July 16. 18 inches hit number 37 on the Billboard High Country Song list on support of the song Elena and Buck on the 18th City to proceed from each show benefit the various local charities, including the Special Olympics, which is a love the Special Olympics since I am handicapped too, so stumped up to you, Elena. I love you, you help people like me in handicap. I really do. At the 12th American Country Award, Elena was selected as the new artist of the year. Yeah. 2013, 2017, Lorraine, Elena, EP, The Road Lessons Travel. The road less travel. On January 2013, Elena started recording her second album. On May 7, 2013, Elena released the single Barefoot Backwater, which is started at 34 on the Billboard The High Country Sun Church. She performed the song Trust Fish 12th Season of American Idol on May 9, 2013. In May 2013, Alina also released a track title Antarctica, One War, One Family. The track served as the theme song for the Sea War. Attraction Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. Well, I love it. On December 10, 2013, Alina released 
the cover of the my own growing up in Christmas list. My growing up in Christmas list. I love this title. On September 18, 2015, Elena released a single, National Boyfriend. National Boyfriend was to a radio station, my Ali, to a radio station. On September 28, it reached number 39 on the Billboard Hot Country Sun Charge and EP Battle on October 2, 2015. And the track on the EP history was used for the ESPN College Football Coverage. Let me say something about next boyfriend or next girlfriend. I guess everybody or every girl have one boyfriend, next boyfriend, and so on and so on. But this is natural for any woman or for any man to have a next girlfriend and a next girlfriend because uh, that's the way it is in this world. Sometimes you are comparable, sometimes you're not comparable. And when you see that you're not comparable to the other one, you have to let go. You have to let go. I learned that the hard way. Oh yeah, the hard way. Uh, usually, you want to hold on to the wood, to the woman that you love or to the man you love. And sometimes they don't want to be with you. Sometimes they don't feel comfortable or they don't love you. And things like that. So, so thinking about it, okay? He better to let go than hold on. Let that person be free. Let that person choose another one, even if it's not you. And they will be fine, and you will be fine too. But yeah, for sure. And that's what I would like to talk to you about. Don't hold on. Let go. It's very important. Okay, let's continue here. Throughout 2016, Alina opened for several shows on Alan Jackson, still keeping the country true. On November 18, 2016, Alina reached her cover of Holy Night. While Holy Night is uh, another great song that I love on Christmas. The one of my favorite it will be always will be. Alina released a single Well Last Travel, which was she co wrote with Megan Trainor and Jace Pasture. F R I A S U R E Pasture on eleven of twenty sixteen. Alan performed then Alina performed on the track on the Today Show on September 8, 2016. On the Harry, on the February 7, 2017. In April of 2017, World Last Travel, which is number one on the Billboard Country Airplay Choice. On January 27, 2017, Elena released her second album, World Last Travel. A track for Elena album includes some day different battles. Dwayne Fine, My Kind of People, Pretty, Question, The Boy Club. Yeah, Question, 
the boy slept, and Queen O'Hart, as well as four tracks for her self-titled EP. Elena described role that travel as very different from her debut album. In addition, her self acceptance accepting to the last it's a B team of the album. We are different and that's what makes us beautiful. Yeah, we're all different and that's what will make us all different. Two, two, very two, I like that. The album will reflect on the photo and we have some fun on a fun song and some sad song, a little bit of what my life has been like over the past few years, Alina said. Everybody had that too. You have fun day, you have sad day. It's like you and Denver, someday the diamond. Someday I stone. Yeah. He said that. Everybody, every human being go through that, I guess. In February or March 2017, Alina too, with Martina Mabai on her love on this tour. Throughout June and July, 2017, Alina appeared on the Look Brian Hunting Fishing Loving Every Day tour. For a no, for a number of selected day in May of 2017, Alina contributed to the guest vocal of the song Are You Happy Now? from Back of Flat. 10 studio album Back to Trust. Alina third single from World Last Bubble, Doing Fire, was released on May 22nd, 2017. The song peaked at number 27 on the Billboard Country and Play search, making her the second highest selling single. Alina become the only female top both country search in 2017 after the role that travel top of the country airplane search was top of the heart country search. This also made her one of the three women top heated country search in 2017. Alina performed Doing Fine What If at the 2018 ACM Award where she won the award for the new female vocal of the year at the 28th at the 2018 CMT Music Award. Alina and Brown won the award for best Collaborative video of the wife and we're among the top five vote getting for the video of the year for the same song. In 2018, to a person getting good and getting over him, EP and sitting, and sitting pretty on the top of the world. Yeah, I like that. Sitting pretty on top of the world. Alina released a single Lady in the Navy on October 5th, 2018. The song was released on the country radio October 15. And the single reached at number 40 on the Billboard Airplay. Alina was nominated for the new artist of the year, Festival Annual 
contribuisce al tuo sieggio, alle feste stecche, al nuovo Octone Eighteen. Hey guys, give me one second. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. So let's continue here. <sighs> Alina Singh was getting good on September 27, 2019. The song was released on country radio October 7. On the other side, it was released as a promotion single on October 22nd of that year and was thanks to the Dancing with the Stars episode. In memory of her, of her father, her stepfather, I mean, on March 2nd, 2020, she released a Getting Good EP, including the two tracks and the Lady of the Navy. On September 4th, 2020, she released an EP, Getting Over Him, a little first single from AP Getting Over Him, featuring John Barry, was released on February 23rd, 2021. Alina released her third studio album, sitting pretty on the top of the world, on September 3rd, 2021. On March of 2021, Alina revealed that she had tested positive for COVID-19 on December 18, 2021, Alina was asked to become an official member of the Grand Ole Opry. On July 25th, 2022, Alina signed with Big Loud Records label or the venue, or venue. On September uh, 2016, Alina filmed her very first movie, The Road Last Travel, which took place in Nightville, Nightville, Tennessee. And the film was released on June 2, 2017. In the premiere on the CMT on November 10, 2017, on August 20, 2019, Alina was announced one of the celebrities to compete in the season 28 of Dancing with the Stars and made it her to a final finish in her fourth place. 2020, 2020 was named by an ambassador. She was named by an ambassador for the fly by Julian Y U E N G I L N G uh Premium Liberia. In twenty twenty one she became the brand ambassador for Maurice, the American woman clothes retail change. In twenty twenty one Alina started the film Roll House the month. She she stayed she started in the Rose House of Romance, which is premiere on September 11, 2021. She was a contestant on Beyond the Age at a survival competition. She will premiere on March 20, 22. 2022, yeah. She tore her ligament ending her time on the show. Lady admitting that her answer was the right call. Yeah, he was the right call. Okay, here we go with personal life, which is sometimes I don't like, but I had to do it because private is private. 
Uh, that's why I don't like you that much. Alina Pavin divorced on 2013. Her father is an alcoholic uh, recovering and being sober since October 2013. Both her parents were married thereafter. Throughout her teen years, Alina struggled with bulimia. B U L I M I A. And I know what this is. It's an eating disorder. She said that 2016 Rolling Stone interview, she had eating disorder for like four years. And she was just lost. I found myself in this last few years without music and family and good people around me. Yeah. Well, something like that happened to me too. When I was young, I didn't want to eat too much. I was skinny like this. I was not eating a lot. But after my operation at 24 years old, man, everything changed. Um, now I eat a lot, uh, even if I eat slow. I am an eating slow person. I don't eat fat, but that made me fat too, you know, and I eat in a very long time period too, which is, I don't know why it gave me fat because I, I eat like maybe five hours in between, in between, yeah. Um, everybody change it one way or another as you get older. Okay. In 2012, Helena began dating Alexander Hofskin. In July 2018, the couple announced that they had become engaged. And then in January 2019, they announced that they had split after six years of dating, she was in a relationship with the comedian John Christ for the several months in 2019. In November of 2022, she announced her engagement to Cam Anno. Cam Anno and I don't know what happened here. It doesn't say what happened after that. Okay, here we go with the graphic and the CD and the single or that Wildflower. Yeah, Wildflower 2011. Rollless Travel 2017. She pretty on the top of the world, 2021. Years of war and the <laughs> Keep me. Ah, keep me for a second. <coughs> like, give me a second. Give me a second, I need a word. I've been talking too long, that's why. Okay, a year. CMT Mr. World, you, USA, break to video. What a year. <coughs> and that go to uh, Georgia Pictures. 2012, 10 stories of world. Straight TV, female reality, 
Bill American Idol, and she was nominated. Uh, MCM Award, New Female Vocal of the Year, and she was nominated for that. Radio Disney Music Award, going to Best New Artist, uh, Breakthrough Video of the Year, won. She won that with uh, Rolex Travel 2017. GMT Music Award, Female Video of the Year, nominated, Social Superstars, nominated, Music Row Award, Boy to Alice Radio of the Year, and won herself for that. GMA Award, New Vocal of the Year, New Female Vocal of the Year, and won herself, and won again, yeah. And Billboard Music Award, Tap the Country Sun, what is We Came Brown, dominated CMT Music Award, Collectible uh, Video of the Year, and she won that, for sure. Uh, Taste Country Fine Choice Award, Best Performer of the Year, What If With Cam Brown, won that award. Hit the Radio Music Award, herself dominated musician on call, 20th century, 20th anniversary of me, at the kickoff celebration. Sorry about that. I just made red over here. ACMC Award 2021. ACM. Okay. Vocal event of the year. One beer with Hardy Diving Downson. Dominated in 2022. One whole pre was introduced, introduced at the moment. And she won that too. Okay, guys. So this is all I got for this lovely lady whose name is Lorraine Elena. Let's read here the background information and I'm done with it. Okay. Lorraine Elena. Christine. Sedes, S U D D E T S. No, she was born on November 8, 1994, age 28, Russellville, Georgia, USA, January, country, country, country pop, occupational singer, songwriter, intimate vocal, the active. 2011 to a person and labor record into Cup, Megui, Nashville, Bit Loud labor record. You can uh, go to her website, Lorraine Alana Official.com. Okay, with that, we finished. I hope you guys like my podcast tonight. Let me take this off. I hope you like my podcast. And uh, I hope you like the beautiful lady. I really like uh, the top picture. The top picture, she looks even more beautiful. Uh, in the top, right there, uh, you can see this over here. That one over right here, let me see if I can get a pen. Yeah, that one over right here. 
Let's see if we can. I don't like it that much. Okay. So like always, let me uh, let me take off the picture. So like always, I would like to thank you very much for listening to me, for watching me. I uh, I am sorry that sometimes I got to. I hope my father gets something or got interrupted by something, even with my cough. I said that so I'm sorry for that. I'm trying to do the best I can. And not easy for a handicapped like me to do this thing. But what I'm happy about it is uh, my voice is getting better and better and better. And I hope you can understand me better and better too. And please subscribe and like, like and subscribe. And if you would like to donate something, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel on the email. Uh, there is an email there. You can uh, PayPal me any amount of donation that you wish to give me and that I'll be satisfied with that too. Anyway, thank you. As always, I would like to ask you to pray for yourself, to pray for your country, to pray for your neighbor, to pray for the whole world. There is no more pandemic, no more corruption, no more lies, no more wars. We don't need that anymore. We need to live in peace and harmony. And that's what we need. Pray in the morning, or midday, mid-afternoon, or before you go to sleep. Thank you very much for listening to me. God bless you, and i see you next time on Holy Podcast on YouTube.